It's springtime, the time of year when we start to notice the budding trees and hints of color from plants and flowers that have been dormant during the winter months. As we take notice of the changing season, we are reminded of the creation story when God saw everything and indeed it was very good. God calls us to be stewards of the earth, to treasure it, and to fully integrate creation care into our love of God, neighbor, and everything in our environment. Within the first five years of its life as a church, the ELCA addressed the expansive question of caring for creation in a social statement by that name. Adopted in 1993, the statement described the vision of creation's goodness as a gift and issued a call for people of faith to join God's activity of stewarding the earth. The statement outlined key elements of what seeking justice for a harmed earth would look like. Our work for creation care is shaped by our social teaching. Here are a few examples of how this church is addressing climate justice. The ELCA collaborates with Eco America's Blessed Tomorrow program to train and certify creation care ambassadors. The ambassadors help to make the connection between climate care and faith, working to help communities advocate for climate solutions. The ambassadors play an important role in the ELCA, calling on us to recognize our responsibility to be stewards of creation, working alongside our neighbors. In Washington, the ELCA addresses care for climate through political channels, building relationships with congressional staff and administration officials as we seek solutions to the impacts of climate change. Globally, the ELCA participates in the United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties, or COP. Delegations from the ELCA have witnessed action on climate issues, including countries coming together to agree to work on options to improve the soil to meet a growing demand for food. Our church recognizes the importance of sustainability to see that future generations have sufficient resources. Congregations across the ELCA are taking steps to address and implement climate solutions in their communities. As we look ahead to our work in addressing climate concerns, I'm happy to tell you that last November, at the request of many voices, the ELCA Church Council authorized the development of a new social message that would focus on caring for climate. The 1993 statement was ahead of its time in naming the threat of climate degradation, but much has been learned since and there is an urgent need to focus specific attention today. The development of this social message is now underway, and this fall we anticipate a public comment period on a draft that you can participate in. The development of ELCA social teaching is one of discernment together, so we anticipate a public comment period during which you will be able to participate. So keep an eye out for your chance to comment. I urge you to step up your efforts to care for the gift of climate, a gift clearly in trouble today. Be well, dear church.